Hey guys, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, and this episode is brought to you by Domain.com, which I'll talk more about at the end of this video. But before that, let's talk about genetically altered bugs. When you hear that millions of scientifically altered mosquitoes could be released in Florida, you probably think two things. This is the beginning of the end, whether it's Planet of the Apes, Starship Troopers, or 28 Days Later, this is how the human race dies. Or you'll simply think, of course, it's Florida. Either way, this is not the beginning of a film, it's real life. Scientists are now deciding whether or not to release millions of genetically modified mosquitoes into the Florida Keys in order to wipe out another bug that carries two painful diseases. It's definitely a different approach to try to wipe out the virus before they infect us rather than cure the virus afterward or vaccinate against it. But never in the history of the world have insects with genetically altered DNA been set out into a residential neighborhood. In the US, that is. The company Oxitec released tinkered with bugs into the wild regions of the Cayman Islands and Malaysia as well as Panama. And were able to successfully reduce the diseases by 80% with no clear adverse effects on the environment that we know of. Now, when Oxitec did this before, they kind of neglected to tell the people living there until after they had done it, and Floridians are none too keen at that idea. On one hand, this could be a cost-effective and more environmentally friendly form of combating disease. The monster bugs would breed with the disease-carrying bugs, killing them all off. Plus, the altered mosquitoes have a self-destruct gene in there so that the local population could be wiped out without affecting the larger mosquitoes population. No sick bugs, no sick humans, no pesticides, no crazy hospital bills. On the other hand, are we confident that there's enough research to know that nothing bad will come from being bitten by a genetically modified organism? To date, more than 130,000 people have signed a change.org petition against it. Phil Lunabos, who studies mosquito control at the Florida Medical Entomology Lab, says, I think the science is fine. They can definitely kill the mosquitoes, but the GMO issue still sticks as something of a thorny issue for the general public. So what do you guys think? Should we allow millions of scientifically altered bugs into the environment or not? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you find a huge monster bug and want to make a website about it, you can get your domain name and web hosting stuffs from Domain.com. They have over 200 domain extensions, so you could make it a .club, a .expert, or a .bug. Save 15% when you use coupon code SourceFed at checkout. All right, guys, thanks for being here for as long as we have you before monster bugs take over or before we find a super awesome cure for buggy-borne diseases. You know, either way. I'm Trisha Hirschberger, Jurassic Park.